Hi, things are going more and more exciting and now we are going to extract the information we want. We go back to the IMDB website where we will extract the title, the rank. So here, for example, the title is the Shawshank Redemption. The rank is the number one. The year is 1994 and the rating is 9.3. So to do this, we have to go step by step. And first of all, we have to inspect those elements. So let's see this movie name. Right click and inspect. And here is the HTML of this movie name. The first thing we have to do is to see how all those movie names are organized. So let's go here and check. So this is for the first movie. So it's a list item. Let's click here and list the third movie, the fourth, the fourth movie and so on. As you can see, so those list items are the elements for each movie. Let's go up here. So to extract the movie information, we have to extract those elements. So we go back to our Jupyter Notebook and we look for those movies. So movies equal to soup dot find all and then we are looking for list items with we will do the search by the class name so all those list items have the same class name we can just copy it and here class underscore equal to this class and to check if this is the right code to extract the movies. Let's print not all the movies, but the length of this movies variable. And it should be 250 movies. Control enter. Just a few seconds. And this is okay. These are the 250 movies. Let's now go and find where we can and in which element, in which HTML element, we can find the information we need. So go back here and inspect. The first thing we want to extract is the title. So right click and inspect. And this is where we can find the title and, and the ranking. And then we will extract the name and the ranking. Let's go up. So inside the list item, this is the div we are looking for. And inside of it, we will find the anchor tag that contains the name and the rank. And to do so, first of all, we have to make a for loop for movie in movies and then the name will be equal to movie dot find and with this div tag and with this class attribute so this is the class we copy it And we paste it here, but this will give us all the tag and we just want the text inside the anchor tag. So we will say dot a dot text and to check if this is right or no, let's print it, print name and to not show all the 250 names we want just to check for the first one so we will write here break and control enter yes this is good so this is the Shawshank redemption 
but this is the name with the rank. We want to extract just the name. So we will use the dot split method and we will separate them. We will separate the two strings with the dot and we will extract the second element. So we will make the index at one. Let's try if it is true or not. Control enter. Yes, this is the name of the movie, so this is okay. And for the rank, we will make the same thing. So just copy this code, paste it here, and instead of one, we will use the first element, so the index will be zero. So let's check if it works. And here we will change this for rank and print this rank and control enter. This is okay. So this is the rank number one. The next step is to find the year of edition. So here and inspect. So it's inside a div with this class and a span tag. It's the text of the span tag. The year will be equal to movie.find with a div tag and the class attribute that we will find in the HTML code. Go back here and just copy this class paste it here and dot span because it's inside the span tag and dot text let's try to print it so let's change this print year and run it it's okay it's 1994 and the last thing to find is the rating back to the IMDB and right click on this rate, inspect. So it's inside a div tag and inside a span. This is the rating 9.3. So it's inside this span tag. It's the text of this span tag inside this div with this class. So as usual, movie.find, movie.find, and the div with this class attribute that we will copy from here. Sorry, this is the class. Copy it and paste it here. And then we will write dot span dot text. Let's check if this code work. So here the rating and run it. Yes, this is working well. So 9.3, it's the rating of this first movie. So this is for extracting the four information that we are looking for are the four variables, the name, the rank, the year and the rating. And now it's time to store all this information in a CSV file. So first of all, we have to import the CSV model and then create a file. So here I will create a file CSV file name equal to movies data dot CSV. And then to store the information inside this file, we have to open it in writing mode. So with open CSV file name in writing mode. So mode equal W new line equal an empty string. And then encoding UTF-8 sign. And then, sorry, as 
file and we will use writer equal csv dot writer in this file and all this loop will be inside this because all the information should be written inside this file so we remove this we can also add a header this is the first line will be header rank name year and rating for each movie and writer dot write row header after extracting those variables we will add the current row for the first movie and then the second and the third and so on so writer dot write row rank name year and rating and finally we exit this loop for the final result and print data has been written to the csv file with this name so let's run and see what happens so control enter and just few seconds to show the output the result of this work and this is okay data has been written to the csv file movies data.csv so what you do now you go to the folder where your python file is stored and you look for movies data so this is movies data you click on it and this is the result for all the 250 movies the rank the name the year and the rating and you can of course you can download it and as you can see it's an excel file let's open it and this is really a great work a great result so the rank the name the year and the rating a good output an organized data this is what we expected and this is what we wanted to show and to have thank you for your attention and see you in the next lesson